Hello everyone, it's Arthur back with another Raiders video. In this video, I'll be giving my Raiders Chargers game preview, first game of the season. So let's get into it. Excited for week one, of course. Now, there are some injuries to talk about before we get into the game preview. So today, Malcolm Coons was ruled out with an injury. And the injury that he suffered yesterday on Thursday, seems like it could, be, it could be a bad injury. Hopefully not, that would be a really big crusher because the guy was supposed to be a breakout candidate for us this year, of course. Ended last year really well. So I'm really hoping that's not anything serious, but he's offered this game, which is definitely gonna be a huge blow as it stands. So we're gonna need Tyree Wilson to step up, Janarius Robinson to step up. They're not gonna fill the void of Quince, in my opinion. Like Quince is just that much above them, but Tyree can definitely provide some power in Janarius Robinson. He's a, he's a player that I did like uh, as like a fourth defensive end. Now he's gonna have to be like a third, basically. I do like him though, but just not sure if he's ready to fill the void right here. But gonna have to fill that somehow. Obviously, Crosby, Wilkins, still, and Adam Butler still will be giving us some good pass rush. I'm not really worried about getting after Herbert this game. But obviously, losing Coons for even one game is huge. But outside of that, Jack Sparrow Johnson is out. I think anyway, he's not going to start over Cordy White here at left guard. Because, you know, he missed all of the offseason process, really. Had OTAs and had, like, a couple weeks of practice. That's about it. I will not throw him out there right away. So it looks like now it's for sure going to be Cody White here at left guard. At guard, we still have some depth with um, Jordan Meredith and Andrews Pete. And also, D. Cameron Richardson is out at corner. Now, this one actually concerns me because he was basically like our third outside cornerback. Obviously, uh, Jones and Bennett. So now what are we going to do? Because Darnie Holmes is more of like a slot corner. We can't play outside. And we need some more depth at corner. So maybe we'll, we'll call up Sam Webb for this game. But definitely, Richardson, I don't think he's going to see the field, at least on defense. Maybe on special teams. But regardless... We need some more depth now at cornerback until he's back. And Tommy Ackenberg is questionable, but expected to play. For the Chargers, no DJ Chark. Our receiver, he was pretty much going to be their wide receiver three, maybe wide receiver four. But now Johnston will pretty much be that guy for them. Questionable. They have a Sunday Samuel Jr. will pop up today. Questionable. That would be a huge loss for them if he does not play. Because Adams already cooks them. If they don't have their best cornerback, I can, I can only imagine what's going to happen. And also, a uh, rookie, uh, Tariq still from Maryland, also questionable. He's more of a depth guy for them, but that is the injury report. Now getting into the game preview. This is the game that I did predict us to win in the record prediction. I have been confident in this game since since the schedule came out. Now two years ago when we played the Chargers, week one they beat us, right? Fair and square. Their card three interceptions, but this time I feel actually I actually feel very confident in this game. This Chargers team is not that good. Don't let the media convince you. Because they have Harbaugh, they have Herbert, but what else do they have? Because their roster is pretty bare bones if you look at it. Like they had five wins last year. Their defense, it's not it's not much better than last year, if at all. You know what I mean? They haven't really made any improvements. They do have a good D-line, which we'll talk about, but they had that same D-line last year, but they were still a bad defense. Their offense, as you know, gutted their offensive core. You know, from Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Austin Eckler, Gerald Everett, all those guys are gone. And they look a lot different. And um, I'm very confident in this game. Now, kind of getting into it, I'm very confident, especially in our defense against their offense. Now, their offense is going to be a running offense. That is kind of concerning because they, like a Jim Harbaugh team that runs the ball is always concerning because there's a chance that they run the ball down our throats and we can't stop them. Um, which, which would kind of minimize the lack of receiver talent for them if you think about it. So let's say they have Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins running down or throw the whole game. That would be not that would be that would be not a good instance because Gus Edwards is not the best running back one, but he's powerful. He can definitely get the ball all game. J.K. Dobbins the complete opposite. He's, he's a speed back, so they can definitely hit us with Dobbins after a nice dose of Edwards, which is something to watch out for. Um, now our D line is pretty nice, as I mentioned, or I, I didn't mention, but getting into it, Crosby, Wilkins. You know, Butler Jenkins. I'm a big fan of this defensive line. I think we'll be ready to stop the run. Robert Slane, Devon Diablo, run stopper as well. Nate Hobbs from the slot is a good run stopper as well. So I feel good by run defense. The passing game, I'm very confident in uh, stopping them. They do have Herbert, which is definitely a benefit to them uh, as always. But the receivers, though, that's a big question mark, right? Because Josh Palmer is all right. As a wide receiver one, though, not sure how he's going to do. Lyle McConkey, I'm a fan of uh, Georgia. He'll probably be in the slot. But it's an NFL debut, so how, you know, how productive will he really be? And on the outside, on the other side, it's going to be Quentin Johnson, probably. So, I'm not scared of that weapon, weaponry. And at tight end, they got Will Disley and Hayden Hurst. Not the best combo. Will Disley's career high is like 350 yards. And Hayden Hurst, he did not live to, he did not live to his first round hype, I'll say that. So, 
I'm not really concerned about their weaponry. But here's the thing for the Chargers. If they do run the ball well, which is possible, their passing game will be that much better because they'll be able to set it up more as we have to kind of come to the run. So if we stop the run, we will dominate this deep offense because here's your thing. Our defense is pretty good as we all agree, as our fan base pretty much unanimously agrees with, right? And this is the offense right here that lost a lot of pieces and has an experience. So even with Herbert, this is not the best offense. So absolutely, I trust us against their offense. No doubt about it. Now on the flip side, where I am a little bit concerned uh, is our offense against their defense. Not because of their defense. Their defense, as I mentioned already, not that good last year. They have a good D-line, which I do want to talk about because Klumac, Dre Bosa, Tweepolo 2, even, but they're pretty nice for edge rushers. But they had, three, they had three of those guys last year and still not doing anything on defense. And their secondary looks pretty bare bones to me. You know what I mean? Like Denzel Perryman, I like a linebacker. Their other guy might be Diane Henley. Um, not the best linebacker core. Respect to Denzel Perryman, but that's not the best linebacker core. Their secondary not the best either. Asante Samuel, assuming he does play. And Fulton at outside corner. See, these are Gilman and Derwin James. That is not that much better than last year, if at all. So, I think that our weapons, which are pretty underrated, right? Devontae, Jacoby Myers, Brock Bowers, Michael Mayer. That's going to be a pretty nice 12 uh, personnel group right there. And it's going to be right running back. So, I think that I trust our talent to be more talented than them, if that makes sense. But, we do have to look at see who's a, um, a question mark. And... Our offense line is not the best, and their D-line does worry me. That's the way the Chargers can stop us, in my opinion. If their defensive line wreaks havoc like they did last year, week four. And that's the way they can slow us down, because I think we have the superior weapons on the outside. But if they're getting to Minshew, it's going to be tough to get those you know, weapons involved and get the ball out. So I think that the line has to hold up. I think Cole Miller will, will do good on whoever he's on. I think we got to help out the Air Munford on the other side you know, with chips, with the running back, with chips at the tight end, maybe slide a guard over because... Here's the thing, on the flip side, their interior defense line is not that good. Morgan Fox is pretty solid. Outside of that, it's looking kind of suspect for them. I'm not a big fan of what they have on in the interior. That's why I think we can slide a guard over to double team with one of the tackles because I think that our guards and, our guards and center should be able to hold up against their interior. Our tackles is where I'm concerned though. So again, we have to hold up so Minshew can get the ball out. And I think we can run the ball pretty solid in this game because again, their interior is not the best. So I think... On offense, run the ball, do everything you can to defend, uh, to protect Minshew. Because if that's the case, then we can definitely win on the outside with Devontae, Jacoby. I think Brock Bowers can get going. I think Michael Mayer can get going. So I think we can do all that. But first, we have to win in the trenches. Which, here's the thing. AP is a big trenches guy. Harbaugh is a big trenches guy. So it's going to be a big, on both sides of the ball, trenches battle. We have to win it though. Because if they start running the ball all, all over us, it's not going to be good. If they start getting pressure on Minshew, that's not going to be good. If we hold up on the offensive line, if we, if we shut down Gus Edwards and Dobbins, this, this should be a dominant victory. We should dominate these guys. They have a new GM, new head coach, new offensive coordinator, new defensive coordinator. They're in a rebuild. They had five wins last year. We're taking over the stadium. This should be a confident, confident win. But it's a, it's a division rivalry. It is week one, so you never know what's going to happen. However, if this team is that serious, I think it is. We're going to go out there. We're going to beat them confidently. And go on to Baltimore week two, who just lost by the can by the way to Kansas City, which kind of concerns me because they have extra time. It's gonna be their home opener, and now they're probably mad by after losing to Kansas City. Well, let's just get the Baltimore. I want to know, and then we'll see what happens in that game. So, anyway, that was my Raiders Chargers week one game preview. Very excited. Anyway, I'm Marto, and thank you for watching.